I'm not sure whether they'll even be possible to get a good video off of this wind. Sometimes in Oklahoma the wind comes rolling down the plains as the song says. And uh, you get 30, 40 mile an hour wind all day. You can see a lot of fur in this fence. Hopefully it didn't tear up her coat too bad. I think it's a female. I got a real good corner post here that separates three separate areas. Two pastures and one field that's got grass in it. And the cattle are roaming free on the grass. And usually they're right here by this triple gate. But apparently they were spooked off by this jib today. Had a set sitting here for about 30 days. Finally picked up on some uh, Wayne Derrick 1080. Looks like she tried to pee on it. But, all in all, this is a good spot. It's been a good spot for a long time. But I haven't had a lot of catches right here. I just had a lot of tracks and a lot of sign. Sometimes you set on what you think is a good location and you might not have a lot of sign and it doesn't produce well. I got another good location on this same field just up the way about 300 yards that uh, has produced very well. I think I pulled five or six coyotes out of it just in the last 25 days. A couple of doubles. But this set here sat here the whole time and I was thinking about pulling it. As I was driving up to it, I was thinking about how I was going to pull it as soon as I had time today or tomorrow. But, the added benefit of this coyote's this coyote's um, smell, this set that's right on a trail that definitely has sign on it, a lot to produce. See, we're kind of right in suburbia. This is Piedmont, Oklahoma. And I'm on a ranch right here on in Piedmont. But north of me is most of the town and most of the neighborhoods and the developments. And that's the intermediate school right there. And the coyotes are thick in here. I think this will make 27 or 28 coyotes I've pulled out of this property. Coyotes are thick. Last year it rained too bad. I couldn't even get in here when I wanted to trap. I trapped this property for two weeks on the other side of the highway over there. And uh, caught four coyotes. Fought rain the whole two weeks. And by the time it got swamped out, I just pulled out and I was done. But this year, this makes number 47, I think. We have number 46 on the hood. Fell also to 1080. And this makes number eight. Cats. Good belly there. Good belly. Wide for Oklahoma. We don't get a lot of wide bellies. You get a lot of dirty bellies that aren't very clear. But that's a nice wide belly. I'm going to get this yellow-eyed dog taken care of. Back foot catch. Definitely made a pee. I think it was uh, 1080 and a little bit of Andy Weiser's SMC single male coyote urine. This dog tried hard to get out. You can see there's fur all along the fence. It's probably not the best idea to try and trap coyotes or bobcats right on the fence. For all you folks watching. But, good location. Decent side. Wasn't a lot of sign, couldn't find any scat. Due to the fact I didn't have a lot of sign, I didn't have a lot of catches here. This is the first catch on this post for this tri-field fence here. And I don't think it'll be the last. 